Just a quick warning, I recommend that you go get yourself a cup of tea or coffee or whatever you drink and maybe a snack because this may be a long video. So if you are at all hungry or thirsty right now or if you need to go to the toilet, please pause this video and go right now because this is the TMI tag booktube edition. There is a bunch of questions in here that I'm just going to answer. Um, you probably never even knew that you wanted to know the answers to these questions that I'm going to answer but here they are anyway. Um, I've obviously thought of my answers before and I kind of have them written down in note form in front of me so I'm hoping this is going to go quicker than perhaps people who don't do that videos. So yeah I was tagged to do this by Cherie Walker who is awesome and you should definitely check her out. I will link her down below and I'm just going to get right on into it. So the first question is which book characters clothes style do I most admire and for that I have to say Eleanor Douglas from Eleanor and Park. She is incredibly unique and incredibly eclectic and incredibly stylish. There's a quote in this that I love that says Eleanor never looked nice, she looked like art and art wasn't supposed to look nice, it was supposed to make you feel something and she's just so inspirational to just wear whatever you want not to care too much about what people think of you and yeah I absolutely love her style. The next question is who is my book boyfriend and I do have quite a few answers for this. Um, I absolutely love Raffi from the Penryn and End of Days series, he is just gorgeous. Um, I also love, I think you probably know, Etienne from Anna and the French Kiss. He is really, really cute too. But I think possibly, and I know he's not technically a book boyfriend, but well, I'm going to say he is because, I mean, there are supernatural books that I read and they're pretty cool to be honest if you love Supernatural. But um, my ultimate fictional boyfriend is Sam Winchester from Supernatural. He's just everything I've ever wanted in a man and if he is based on a real guy, I want to marry that guy. <laughs> he's just, oh, he's gorgeous. And like, obviously, Jared Padalecki's a real guy and everything, but it's it's Sam that I love. And I love Jared, obviously, because he is like physically Sam. But um, yeah, Sam as a character to me is just perfect. Um, yeah, that he is there. He's he's so, yeah, I, I, I'm not going to talk about him anymore because I feel like I might get a little bit weird, but yeah, so they are my book boyfriends. The next question is, have I ever loved a character and then started to hate them? And the answer to that is no, not really. This is the only question in this tag that I really kind of struggled to find an answer for. I think the closest I have to an answer is Triss from the Divergent trilogy because... I didn't really start off loving her, but my her likability decreased throughout the books for me. So I guess that's the that's the closest I have. I didn't start loving her and end up hating her. I didn't hate her, but I just didn't like her really from the start and it got, you know, steadily my dislike increased. So yeah, I guess that's my answer for that. The next question is what is the biggest longest book on your shelf? And that has to be my complete collection of the works of William Shakespeare. This is all of his plays in one book and I love this book. Obviously I haven't read it all, I've dipped in and out of it over the time that I've had it, but it's awesome. It's got these beautiful gold pages and it's just a book that I know I'm going to keep forever and just occasionally obviously, as I said, dip in and out of. So yeah. The next question is what is the heaviest book on my shelf? Again, it's this one obviously. So yeah. The next question is, do I have any book posters? Yes, I do. I have one right here, which you can see is a quote from the Throne of Glass, which I got in a recent owl crate. I also have a Fault in Our Stars poster that I got when I went to a fan screening of the film when it came out. I also have a Harry Potter one. Um, I've also got a quote from Wuthering Heights, which says, uh, whatever our souls are made of, his and mine are the same. I've also got another really cute poster of, um, it's a picture of a book and a cup of tea with best friends written on it. So yeah, I think that's it. So yeah, that my book posters. The next question is, do I have any book themed jewellery? Yes, I do. I have this uh, Alice in Wonderland necklace that you can see. It's the 
white rabbit and there is Alice falling down the rabbit hole so yeah I have that I also have this Harry Potter one which is just the stag with the little plaque that says always on it I also have my time turner which I know you guys have seen before and I have a Mockingjay from obviously the Hunger Games and I also have these little um, book necklaces I have all seven of the Harry Potter books of these um, this is Goblet of Fire so I just picked one out of the box to show you um, yeah but that is all my little collection of bookish jewellery so yeah the next question is who is my OTP I did a whole video on my OTPs but the one I picked for this video is Selena and Kale from the Throne of Glass series just because I think they're possibly the OTP that I ship the most maybe um, yeah so I will link my OTP video down below if you want to see what all of my OTPs are so yeah that's that the next question is what is my favourite series do I really have to say it again? Really? It's of course the Harry Potter series. Um, rather than just show you books all the time, I thought I'd just show you my Harry Funko Pop for this. So, there you go. Hi. <laughs> that is that question. Um, what is my favourite book to film soundtrack? For this, I have gone for The Fault in Our Stars because I quite liked the film version of The Fault in Our Stars. I know not, not everyone did. But um, I think it's got some quite like nice, upbeat, catchy pop songs in it, which doesn't really obviously fit with the whole theme of the book. But um, yeah, it's got um, Boom Clap in it, and it's also got a really, really lovely Ed Sheeran song in it called um, All of the Stars. Um, I absolutely adore Ed Sheeran, and yeah, I really love that song, so I guess that is my favourite. Although I do obviously really love the Harry Potter film soundtrack. That's that Harry Potter film theme tunes just literally magic to my ears so yeah that too the next question is what is a book series that I miss and wish could carry on and for this I have gone for again the Pemrin and End of Days series um this is a angel trilogy but I think originally it was supposed to be more books and therefore when I finished it I just kind of wanted more which is understandable because it was supposed to be more um yeah I mean I really liked it so I wish there were more books in it. Um, Harry Potter would have been another an answer for this question as well, but um, we are getting Harry Potter more Harry Potter material now. We've got the play coming out in the summer, which I'm going to see in London. I'm so excited about, um, and they're also releasing the script of that play in book form. So we are kind of getting more Harry Potter material now. So I kind of feel that can't really be an answer to that question anymore. But yeah, there you go. The next question is what is my favourite standalone and I think maybe this comes as no surprise to anyone but it is Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Um, I just adore this story so so much and therefore it's my favourite standalone so yeah. Um, apologies for the lighting um, by the way, um, it's starting to get dark here because I left it way too late in the day to film this video but I'm really really sorry I'm just going to crack on through and hope that it doesn't just turn to pitch black by the end um anyway next question is when do i read i read whenever i can i always read when i'm traveling on the trains on the buses um i normally read just before i go to sleep in my bed as well i always read when i'm in coffee shops having tea not coffee um yeah just whenever i can really next question is what hogwarts house am i in i am in hufflepuff which i think i've said before the next question is what qualities do I look for in a book? This is quite a hard question but um, I normally look for some kind of darkness which sounds really weird. Um, I like supernatural books, I like anything with supernatural creatures in it, um, anything with magic in it, anything like that probably are the qualities that I look for in a book. So yeah. Um, what is my favourite quote? My favourite quote ever is, happiness can be found in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light from Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Uh, who is my favourite author? Um, I would say J.K. Rowling, but I haven't really liked anything apart from Harry Potter that she's done. Um, 
so I think I'm going to have to say Stephen King because I've loved all of the books, pretty much all of the books that I've read of his. Um, Sarah J Maas, I have loved everything that she's ever done. Rainbow Rowell, uh, John Green, obviously. Um, yeah, that's all I can think of. Uh, what is my favourite book cover? Okay. It's this. It's the illustrated version of The Philosopher's Stone. I absolutely adore it. It's just gorgeous. It's so, so beautiful. And I know everyone in the world has seen this now. So, yeah, that is my answer to that. Next question is action or romance. And this is kind of a hard question because I feel like good books have a lot of action in them. But then I kind of feel like books without some sort of romance are a little bit of a you know you've kind of left wanting that romance there so I think if I had to pick I would say action but if it's a good romance then romance so yeah I, I pick action that's fine <laughs> um where do I go when a sad moment happens just somewhere quiet I think I do actually normally if a sad moment really really affects me I do just sort of put the book down for a little bit and just go away and reflect on it and just kind of pull myself together before going back to it so yeah just somewhere nice and quiet I would say um how long do I need to finish a book depends how long the book is depends how good the book is um normally I get through one or two books a week um if it's slightly longer like I am with the, with the A Song of Ice and Fire books they're taking me a while to get through so yeah but normally one or two a week um, how long is my morning period? It depends how good the book is, I'm afraid. Um, Harry Potter, I'm still obviously mourning a load of characters there, but um, yeah, really, really depends. Uh, my least favourite book, it's got to be either Twilight or Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah, but they're connected. Fifty Shades of Grey was Twilight fan fiction, and that's probably why I hated it, but... Yeah, sorry to any Twilight or Fifty Shades fans, but they're just not for me, I'm afraid. Um, turn-ons in characters. Um, they're pretty much the same as turn-ons for, like, people in real life, I guess. So, loyalty, bravery, uh, compassion, um, what else did I write down? Ambition, and <laughs> sense of humour. Yeah, all those things. Uh, turn-offs in a character arrogance, selfishness, self-obsession, yeah, pretty much the same as I would find in real life, I guess. Um, reasons for joining BookTube. Um, why did I join BookTube? I joined BookTube to join basically a really, really lovely community of people who share my love of books. That's the short answer, in all honesty. So everyone is so nice on BookTube and I love that. And I kind of wanted a sort of creative outlet, um, not just writing I wanted to make videos so yeah I guess that's why I joined it um name a scary book I mentioned the book that scared me the most in my last video the inside out tag so I've just picked another one and that is The Shining by Stephen King again one of my other favorite Stephen King books um it's awesome if, if you've just seen the film I thoroughly thoroughly recommend that you read the book as well because it's amazing um, next question is what is the last book that made me cry and that is All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven gorgeous gorgeous book absolutely adored it heartbreaking but so hopeful at the same time so yeah the next question is what is the last book that I gave five stars to and I checked my Goodreads and that is apparently A Storm of Swords Part 2 by Georgia R. Martin so yeah that is the last book I gave five stars to the, what are my favourite titles? My favourite, I tend to like titles that are quite poetic but quite ambiguous until you read the book. So, um, An Ember in the Ashes, um, The Fault in Our Stars, um, The Rest of Us Just Live Here, uh, Paper Towns. Um, I feel like John Green books normally have quite, quite good title, titles that I like. So, yeah, that's the kind of thing. Um, last book book that I read was Halfway Dead by Terry Magger. I read that on my Kindle um, while I was away in America. So yeah, that is that. Books I'm currently reading. 
A Feast for Crows by Georgia R. Martin. I'm hoping to finish this before the beginning of April, so this is going to be in my March wrap up. I hope. <laughs> um, I'm also reading We Were Liars by E. Lockhart on my Kindle. Um, the last book adaptation that I watched, and that is the film version of Allegiant. Um, I am going to do a review of that film, so yeah, look out for that, probably by my next video. Yeah, that'll be on my blog, so yeah. Um, a book character I always wanted to talk to, Hermione Granger. She is my bookish bestie, and I would love to have a conversation with her, so yeah. Um, an author I always wanted to talk to, J.K. Rowling, definitely. I would love to just meet her and... I don't know if I could have a conversation with her, though, because I feel like I would just fangirl too much and it'd be really weird. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I would really like to talk to her. Also Stephen King, because he's an amazing storyteller and has an awesome way with words. So, yeah. My favourite book snack is definitely Milky Way Magic Stars. I'm, I'm pretty obsessed with them, to be honest with you. So, yeah. Um, a book world I would most like to live in, Hogwarts, obviously, I'd love to have gone to Hogwarts, I would love to have been a part of that, a uh, book world I would least want to live in, Panem from The Hunger Games, yeah, that's, that's a, that's a bad, that's a bad world, nobody wants to be there, so, yeah, um, last time I smelled a book, okay, it was a few days ago, I bought a book that is going to be in my next book haul in a charity shop, and whenever I buy a book in a charity shop, I smell it because I don't know if that's weird. I don't know if you guys do that, but I do. I because it kind of it smells like whoever owned it before. I feel and I kind of like that. I like getting a sense of who's had my stuff before. So yeah, a little bit weird, <laughs> probably. But oh well. Um, weird insults used in books. Um, I couldn't actually think of an answer for this, but I've gone for. Um, what Hermione says in one of the Harry Potter films and she says to um, Ron um, you have the emotional range of a teaspoon and that just makes me laugh every time so yeah um, my favourite romance book is Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte um, I'm aware that it's getting slowly darker the more I film so I'm really really sorry for this um, but yeah it's my favourite romance book I've talked about it a lot I've gushed about it so yeah recommend it definitely um, do I write? Yeah, I, I, I've been a blogger since I was a teenager for about, all 10 years now I've been blogging. Um, I also have a degree in creative writing, um, but I haven't actually done any real kind of creative stuff, as in writing stories or poetry or anything like that, since I left uni, which is really bad. But it is one of my lifetime ambitions to write a novel, so, yeah, I do write. I, I'm, as I write blogs and stuff. Um, but yeah, I would really like to write a novel at some point as well. Um, what is my favourite magical item? It is definitely a time turner. Um, yeah, I would love to have a time turner. I really, really would. And well, I do have one, but I wish it worked, basically. So I could time travel and that would be really, really awesome. Um, what is my Quidditch position? I guess a seeker. Um, because... I'm better at kind of being on the outside. My peripheral vision's very good, and I guess I, it would it, I'd be best at that than any of the others, I think. So, yeah. A song connected to a book. Wuthering Heights and Kate Bush's Wuthering Heights. <laughs> Is that an easy answer? Very well. Um, Book-related chat-up line. Okay, there are loads of Harry Potter-related ones, but my favourite one is just simply, I a dumble door you. It's cute, it's simple, yeah. Next question is, have I ever used it? And the answer is no, because I very, very rarely flirt with people and talk to people romantically, so, yeah. Um, Favourite book fandom? Obviously Harry Potter. How many books do I own? I have no idea, but I am guessing about three to four hundred. It's a problem, I know, but we all have it, so it's fine. And the last question at last is who do I tag? And I tag you. Whoever wants to do this tag, you are fully welcome to do it. And this video is already long enough, so I'm going to say bye-bye. I will leave all of my social media down below, and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.